Okay, so you guys want to uh, hook up your uh, Galaxy phone to your TV. I'm going to show you how to do that by simply using a MHL to HDMI and USB power adapter. Now, I'm using a Galaxy S5 here, but for sure, I tested it on my Galaxy S3, my Galaxy S4, and it works. Just well, the S5 it also claims that it can work on like the Note 2, the Note 3, some Galaxy tabs, the Note 10.1, and so on. So first, let me show you exactly what this cable is, because I just hooked it up into the TV, and um, there's there's no way I'm going to pull the HDMI out because it just took forever to get in there. So hold on one second. Okay, so this is what the device looks like here. You can see that there's three connections. The cord is uh, 6.5 feet. That's about two meters. So it's uh, quite long. And you have three connections. You have the HDMI on there. You have the little power cord that goes into your phone or your tab, as well as a USB. And you can see that the cost was $8 with free shipping. So let's continue on. So the only thing you need is basically is this cable here and of course you also need a TV that has a HDMI outlet. And this is like really cool. This is the back facing camera here and you can kind of see. That is really cool and I'll, I'll put it on the front facing way. And you can kind of like see me there. And I'll go back. So let's go ahead and go to the nitty gritty. Okay. So here we go. You can see my screen is on my HDTV. Uh, let's do, you can watch YouTube videos on here. You can watch movies. Um, you can look at your photo album on here, photos. And you can see the only thing I have connected to my phone now, it, it's this right here. And this is the thing that's actually six feet or two meters long, okay? So you can like go quite far with that and then you have one one wire where it's the uh, the USB which is connected up there and then you also have you have to connect your USB let me show you this right here you have to connect it to your power or your wall charger or you can simply just put this USB into your laptop and it has to have some kind of power and the thing is when you do have the power on it actually it does charge your phone as well you can see the little lightning on there Okay, so let me go to my gallery and I'll show you uh, pictures. So this is pretty cool too. So you can see that I have uh, my phone in this direction and you can see it on the TV as well. But when I turn it, this is when it becomes uh, full screen. You can also go this way. So the clarity is pretty good. Uh, this HDMI TV too, it's a really cheap TV. I don't know, it's probably like 10 years old. And the volume here is like really, really bad. So. Let me show you like like a video. Uh, I'll choose this one here, and I'll push play. And let's see here. <clears throat> okay, now this volume on this TV is very very bad. It comes up this door, dude. So you can see that you can hear it on here just fine. It's just that let me turn it back down. This is very bad. Now as you can see as I'm playing the video, a recorded video I have on my phone, it doesn't show anything here, it's black. The only thing you can pretty much do is you can like pause it or you can fast forward it. Now let me show you a uh, YouTube video. Let's go ahead and watch some YouTube videos. Okay, just to warn you, my volume on this TV, I mean, it's uh, really, really old, and it's just like the volume is, is the worst. Anyways, so I have a YouTube video, of my one of my old YouTube videos. I'm just going to pick up play, First and you can see it. Now, if I turn it, right here, just hold it down, and this menu will pop up, and you simply select where it says screenshot, just like that. The other way to do it so, is, again, you would hold down the power button, and then let me go ahead and hold down the... Down and see, at the same time, oh, sorry, let me uh, put on pause. So, so from here, see that you're actually able to see the view it on your phone as well as the TV. Like when if you play a video within your phone, this will be black, but your HDTV you will be able to see it on there. 
Now, one more thing I wanted to uh, note was if you were playing music and stuff like that, if you had like a, a good speakers or you had a surround sound or anything on your TV, you'd be able to um, l listen to the uh, your basically your speakers from your TV. So if you guys have questions or anything, just uh, comment in the bottom. Um, last time uh, I did a review on this as well. It's another kind of connector. Uh, for me, both of these actually work pretty much similar. They work the same. Uh, the only thing is like this one here is a little bit more convenient uh, because you just need this one red wire, just bring this wire with you. With this one here, you need to have an HDMI. So if you're traveling or something, you have to carry that big, thick uh, HDMI cable with you. So, but um, both of these are, are in, in comparing like quality and things, uh, I. I can't see a difference between these two. So if you guys have questions, just uh, comment in the bottom and I'll get back to you guys when I can. If you subscribe, that'd be cool too. All right, thanks. Bye.